all of our lives, Lord, and the remaining part of the program under your loving hands. We are all these in the almighty name of our Lord. Train Nurses Association of India, Dimapur Unit, Kanbaji International Nurses Day celebrate Purshe uh, District Hospital, Dimapur Medical uh, Fellowship Hall. There, Arot uh, Ajila team do tahan Nurses Day uh, do celebrate Kuala team do a voice to lead, invest in nursing, and respect rights to secure global health. La uh, team la porewa tahan aji Nurses Day do celebrate Purshe. Aro amikan janiwale pa do India Dimapur District Hospital de tahan all total 200 to 300 nurses asay guna bi janiwale dishe. Aro aji short program ekta lushe nurses khan ke commemorate kuri na. To abni khan ena nishna more news updates aro khobar khan sahi dekhi. Naglen TV, Moise Chandbini, mula video journalist ase Banasana Final TV from Dimapur. Few years. 
Why? Because mainly because of the burnout, the nurses leave employment, take leave of absence, or it does not encourage nursing profession to others. Also because of the death due to pandemic uh, within the nursing personnel, early retirement and COVID-driven ill health. And it says that even with just 4% of the shortfall, it would increase, the shortage would increase to 7 million. So before the pandemic or during the pandemic, how was this demand supply met or how, this, how was the search supply met was through extra working hours, redeployment of the staff from other clinical areas with, or with very less trainings, student nurses in workforce, non-practicing nurses back to workforce either temporarily or voluntarily and also if we see in higher income countries we see that uh, they expedite the search uh, international immigration uh, or immigration fast tracking of the immigration of the international nurses we have seen that in, in, in high income countries but the question here arose was whether this could uh, this search supply could sustain in the future or not the second reason why to invest more in nursing, even than before, is it seems one in every eight nurses practice in a country other than where they was, they were born, or they are trained. Even before the pandemic, we see that uh, the international flow of nurses, especially in countries like US, UK, Germany, Australia, the outflow of nurses is more. No? And it is followed nowadays, now in even in countries like Belgium, Japan is following. Now, we have uh, this, they, so call, they call it as uh, train for export for uh, nurses, like for nurses in India. Now, even if we, uh, forgetting about the immigration and export, even within our states, we see that our nurses are well trained, qualified nurses, go to other cities like Delhi, Mumbai. And even in the neighboring states like Assam. Now, why is this? Because mainly because of better working environment, better working hours, and better payment and recognition. And this means when when we want to meet the demands, international demands as well as the demands within ourselves, when these are uh, these are to be met, there is also increase the demand from within one's own training place. So the demand increases more. The third reason is, and the most important reason is, invest in nursing for better health care and health delivery system. Now, uh, demand for nurses, demand for nurses, nurses are shortage. When there is a demand for nurses, that means there is demand on the nurses. So when these shortages are not met, when these short, uh, demands are not met, then the demands on the nurses increases. How? by increased workload and also including the minimum wages leading to less retention, burnout, frustration and thereby affecting the quality of health. We also have, uh, now we also know that the general public has become more aware of their rights uh, and thereby the demands and their expectations has also increased. Another reason is as chronic and terminal illness increases and uh, and the need for rehabilitation increases. Apart from the need or the demand in the hospital setting, there is also more demands on home care business, along with that community-based care. So to ramp up all this, we need to invest more on nursing ever than before. Now, invest in nursing, but how do we invest in nursing uh, for better health care? The question arises, how do we invest? Now the first point that I would like to highlight is invest in oneself. You know? When we as a nurse want others to invest in nursing and want others to invest in our profession, I think it is important that we ourselves invest in our profession first. And how can we do that? It's by keeping an update with our skills and knowledge and be ready for change for a positive, a positive attitude for a positive outcome. Florence Nightingale has said, let us never consider ourselves finished nurses, but we must be learning all our lives. And unless, until and unless we do that, I think uh, 
people will not look up to our profession. The second point of how to invest in nursing is invest in nursing education. By investing in nursing education, I would mean uh, setting up more uh, quality nursing colleges, school, uh, providing of better modules, uh, training modules, in-service education, uh, developmental programs and all. But I think uh, we are not a policy maker and I think that would not be possible from our end. So in what small ways we can invest within our capacity? The uh, is by educating right from the grassroots level. And by grassroots level, I mean educating our trainees right from the very beginning. The clinical or the bedside nurses uh, guiding with their skills, the faculty updating their knowledge. And I also would like to request our doctors, if you can kindly teach them into a wherever and when, whenever and wherever you can. The third on how to invest nursing would be invest in nursing job. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong and forgive me for saying this, but we Nagas still have a mentality of saying uh, nursing holiday. Yeah, we have we still have that mentality. And I think it is when we have that mentality, I think it is very wrong of the public to also expect the best nursing care and the best nursing standards when all they did was send the poorest siblings to us, to this profession. So, um, and also the general public doesn't know that nurses are overworked, understaffed and underpaid and also has a salary to attend. And so therefore it is my and our duty, not uh, working in a hospital setting, it is our duty to understand the need to advocate the people that nursing is beyond just giving injection. It is our duty to advocate, to invest in the person who will be doing the job in the future. Another way to invest in nursing job would be giving opportunity to train nurses. And by train nurses, I mean those who are registered as RNRM by a recognized institute. Invest in educating the people, the people that every female in a hospital cannot be tagged with the name with the name nurse. Now, so that trained nurses does not feel discouraged. And also, I would like to, uh, like you all to advocate for fair salary standards, so that there will be retention and su uh, sustainment. And by doing so, we are respecting. So the nurses' rights is respected, the right to be respected for one's own knowledge and abilities, and the right to be compensated fairly for service are fulfilled. So I encourage our fellow nurses, our doctors, I, I believe there are some stakeholders as well, and if you know any stakeholders as well, to kindly advocate for healthy working hours, better staffing pattern, and maintaining a salary standard. The fourth uh, way on how we can invest nursing is invest in uh, nurse leadership. We as a nurse need to be our own voice. And as a profession, we have to have an autonomy. We also need to understand and maintain and take responsibility of our job description responsibly so that overlapping of the job responsibility by other profession is not there. We need to maintain our rights to be believed when speaking for his own his or her own expertise. We need to maintain that right. The fifth and the last point on how to invest in nursing would be to invest in prioritizing the safety of nurses and health workers. Safety of nurses, it means safety of health workers and uh, nurses uh, by having an easy access or priority access to health clinics and health checkups or vaccination including their family members. Compensation of occupational hazards, especially in the private sectors, if that could be done, and um, a supply of proper protective equipment. So, with those five points, that is uh, in small ways, that is how we can invest in nursing within our own capabilities. Therefore, let us focus on the need to invest in nursing and respect the rights. 
in whatever possible ways in order to build a resilient and a high quality system of healthcare to meet the needs of the individual and the community now and in the future. Let us all join our hands for a better healthcare. Thank you. And before I wind up, I also like to encourage our fellow nurses. And if you know anyone, uh, I would like to take this time to encourage to enroll themselves to the TNI. Centers to its life members gives immense benefits. Uh, if we enroll as a life member, the center gives uh, two lakhs rupees for critical and medical illness uh, to nurses through the state TNI. Also, personal accidents insurance of up, up to 10 lakhs is given. Research grants are also given along with that railway concessions are also there. So uh, I would, lastly, I would like to encourage them to enroll themselves or tell uh, others also to enroll, uh, to enroll themselves uh, to the TNM. Thank you so much. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television set as well. For Dimapur viewers, we are on channel number 10 in Global Chapter. And for Kohima and Mokokchung viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.